Assuming we, let's say for example, assuming we want a, a vertical polarization antenna. I remind this is the antenna in which the electric field is perpendicular to the ground. Theoretically, and optimally, we would have wanted all the energy to be radiated away in the vertical polarization. But practically, because of the limitation of antenna design, some of the energy is radiates in the perpendicular polarization to vertical, which is in this case horizontal. Uh, of course, we would like the uh, energy that is built in the perpendicular polarization or the cross polarization to be as low as possible. In some cases, we wouldn't mind much about the uh, cross polarization, but in many cases, uh, for instance, in satellite communications or in point to point communication, this is very important. The cross polarization has to be very, very low. So, why do we need the, the why do, do we uh, want uh, most of the energy to be in our polarization? Of course, if we take uh, an electric field, in vertical polarization, then uh, the projection uh, of vertical on horizontal is zero because the de there is 90 degrees between the two vectors. We wouldn't be able to receive anything with a vertical polarization antenna if we transmit an horizontal polarization uh, energy or power. And uh, that's why we want all the energy to be in the in the polarization that we uh, wanted it to be. That's how we can control it, we can avoid it, and we can actually, uh, in uh, some systems, use the both of the polarization in the same frequency. For example, let's now assume that uh, we want to design an antenna in uh, 1 gigahertz, and uh, we have a radio in 1 gigahertz, and we want to uh, transfer two links on the same antenna in the same frequency. How can we separate between the two? If we uh, transmit one in vertical polarization and we keep the cross polarization very low and then the other radio will transfer the energy in horizontal polarization and also keep a cross polarization very low, then the radios won't interfere each other and the antenna will transfer both the energy of radio 1 and radio 2 on the same antenna, in the same link, in the same frequency. We actually double the capacity of the link only by using both of the polarization with very good cross polarization or very low cross polarization. If we had bad cross polarization in this case, then every radio would have interfered the other radio link and we wouldn't want that to happen. So vertical uh, cross polarization is always the perpendicular polarization to the desired polarization. If we want vertical polarization like in the first case, then the horizontal will be the cross polarization. For horizontal, in the same way, the vertical is the cross polarization. Right hand is the opposite of left hand or the cross of left hand uh, circular polarization and vice versa. The cross polarization is always measured in relatively to the antenna gain. For example, if the peak level of the antenna is 10 dBi, the gain of the antenna and the peak gain of the cross polarization is minus 10 dBi, then we say that the cross polarization is minus 20 dB, because 10 minus minus 10 is plus 20. The cross polarization would be 20 dB or minus 20 dB, depends uh, how uh, you define it. And uh, uh, again, it is the ratio between the peak level of the cross polarization or uh, radiation to the peak level of the co polarization, the one that we are interested in.